Hello everyone, Sheldon with iHardware here to give you guys a very more in-depth video of the Dell Dimension 5100, which has seen some very big upgrades actually, which I am going to be turning into a home server or a file server, whatever you want to call it. Please keep in mind, this video is not scripted at all, so I might say really weird stuff every once in a while, and it might get very, very strange. Alright, so as many of you guys know, or if you've watched my home server plan video, I am planning on turning this particular Dell uh, machine into a file server in the near future. Uh, all I have to do right now, actually currently to it, is uh, get a new power supply. That's not a big deal, um, but if I want to help with energy efficiency, that will be nice. And I need to get um, some server rated hard drives. I'm currently looking at getting uh, two two terabyte um, Western Digital uh, RE drives, so the enterprise raid uh, drives, or um, if I'm out of that budget or if I can't obtain that amount of money, um, well, I will be able to, but it would take longer. Uh, I will end up going with the uh, Western Digital red drives. So um, who knows, this is something in the future that I just plan on doing. Um, I have other things that I need to purchase before this, but um, since I want to test out this new layout video layout uh this is my excuse to make a video alrighty so um if you guys haven't seen it i'll pretty much turn this video into also a more in-depth overview of this uh computer since this was the first computer i did do a video on on this channel uh with the i believe it was the windows xp test uh which ended up getting plenty of viruses this actually i'll update that too um got plenty of viruses it got some malware and Pretty soon uh, it became corrupt to a point where I didn't want to use it anymore. So currently the system is running Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this up here on the front, but there is just a standard DVD-ROM uh, CD rewritable drive. So for transferring movies or something like that, uh, I might get need to get a um, DVD ripper. But don't worry, uh, I'm not going to be doing anything illegal stuff. But uh, basically copy all my DVD videos that I have the many that I have actually I have some like right here uh, What do I have? Got Gilligan's Island I've got to copy that over and put it on the server because who doesn't like Gilligan's Island? I have all the seasons there um, What else get smart and uh, That's a GameCube game uh, Anyway, so yep, there's that in the block two blank spots nothing there could put a floppy drive probably I'll end up getting a media or um, a card reader to put here because I want to be able to transfer videos and stuff off to say this camera and put it straight on the server. Uh, there's just a headphone jack, uh, your standard uh, microphone jack, and um, two USB 2.0 ports on the front. Uh, here's the power button. If you watch my original video, I did say that this power button is a little bit funky. If you press it down here low, um, sometimes the system won't turn on. But if you just normally press it up or whatever, it will work perfectly fine. That's because in here there is a um, plastic piece. The actual button's actually all the way up here at the top. So pressing the button uh, allows it to press that button, which turns on the system. Down here you got the Dell badge, uh, the Windows XP sticker, which it was designed for. And uh, it has Windows um, XP Home Premium sticker on the top, which is not anymore in use. And the good old Pentium 4 hyper-threaded sticker, which this system does not have, which I will get into that in a second. Uh, if you watch my setup, or uh, kind of like an update video, the 2K video or whatever it is, 4K, sorry. Um, I kind of showed this system, so you might already know what I did to it. Uh, in here the, is the fan. Um, currently there is a, um, what is that? Uh, Delta fan in there, so it's a 120 mil fan. Uh, it's reversed, so I flipped it so that it's pulling in air through the back and blowing out through the front. Um, since this is the original fan to the system, it is running at full RPMs, not allowing it to, um, what do you call it? It uh, doesn't have a heat sensor on it, like to show the inside uh, case temperatures. Um, which I'll get into it has a Dell Optiplex 745 board in it right now and um, So it runs it at full RPMs, which is currently perfectly fine because this is going to be used as a server and um, I wanted to stay as cool as possible. So 
uh, it's blowing in the air out the front or whatever, which I think is great. Um, people dispute this topic all the time if you just reverse it or not, but particularly I've seen an improvement over it, and it kind of depends. There's two different heat sink styles. The normal aluminum one doesn't see a huge improvement over it, but when you have the um, copper heat sink style, um, heat pipe style uh, heat sinks, it sees actually a pretty big improvement too. So. Here's just two ventilation holes, too, for the hard drives that are in there. Right now, there's only an 80 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive, um, which came from a uh, OEM computer I bought a while back. Uh, I got the side panels here or whatever, um, and the other side panels. So I'll turn this to the back. So right here, as you can see, there is no I.O. plate. That is because the um, Dell Octiplex uh, 745 board does not line up with the I.O. plate on the rear of the... Uh, original 5100 style uh, plate so I had my dad dremel this out more or less and um, uh, refined the edges cleaned it up a bit and stuck this board in here so nothing special but was a huge upgrade from the original board since the original board the max processor it supported was oh god one of the um, I think it was the Pentium D945 um, so I didn't want to run that in the server for sure because that thing is a power hungry beast um, so currently right now this system has a Pentium dual core E E something I don't know I, at the end of this video though I'm going to put the CPU ID uh, link to link you to um, all of these specs temperatures all that fun stuff so that's currently what this system has in it right now which is gonna be great for a file server it's low powered and actually has better performance than the Pentium D945 um, processor that was originally in here for a while uh, it has the gigabit Ethernet too which I really want because um, that's great. That's a plus right there, especially for file servers. Um, it has four, five, six USB 2.0 ports, so more than enough for the system. If I wanted to, I could put a uh, PCI uh, expansion, USB expansion card, but I highly doubt I need that. Parallel printer, serial, and uh, VGA serial actually might be nice if I'm transferring stuff from. Uh, older systems onto the server um, in the future and none of the expansion covers um, I'm probably gonna put those back on I don't know but uh, it seems to help with airflow and the system's gonna be dusted out more or less um, as much as possible or whenever I feel like it um, to make sure keep it clean and keep it cool so um, what I'll, I guess I'll do and up at the top uh, it has the just uh, Dell the original power supply that came to the system a 305 watt uh, Dell OEM power supply do not know the um, original manufacturer, but these power supplies are built like tanks, that is for sure. So I'm going to take that side panel off there and lean it up there. So as you can see, actually there is another hard drive in here. Let me figure out what drive that is. Um, I believe it might be, God, what is it, a Seagate I believe it is? Yeah, there's a Seagate um, 80 gigabyte uh, Barracuda 7200 RPM uh, SATA three drive I believe actually um, yes uh, and it has a shock um, warranty void da, 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 shock in excess of 350 GS um, I don't remember what GS stands for I'm not a big hard drive person but um, yeah that's more or less it I don't know if this hard drive was made during that bad stage uh, when Seagate was having some bad drives but this one seems to run fine it just runs quite loud actually so I'm not currently going to be using it and then here is the um, Western Digital, uh, what is this, uh, WD Caviar SE drive, uh, WD uh, 800 JD drive. So um, this is just in there temporarily. Uh, it might actually just be the boot drive uh, to have Windows 7 on it since I already have that installed. Like I said, it's only 80 gigabytes. So um, yeah, and it's over 10 years old, so I would rather not run it in a server, um, even though it's a Western Digital drive. Uh, anyways, yep, there's the fan. That fan is flipped. Uh, here's the um, shroud here for the heat sink. And as I said, there's the aluminum heat sink in here, um, which works perfectly fine for this processor because it's such a low power CPU and um, uh, it doesn't output as much heat as the original Pentium Ds that were based on the um, net uh, burst uh, technology from the Pentium 4s. I don't know if this is or not. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not because this was kind of right before they got into the core series and I believe it was released during um, the core series core 2 twad and all core 2 twad core 2 quad um, and all those series of processors uh, just uh, standard cables and stuff the power supply this is one of the older model power supplies if you look at the actual um, newer style ones the ones that come with like the optiplex and stuff they have a little bit different design 
um, but this thing's uh, more than enough and will probably just only reason why I'd be upgraded is just for power efficiency but um, I'm going to get a voltage regulator or whatever you want to call those things since I don't know the exact name to them but to see how many how many watts this is actually pulling from the wall at full load um, say if I'm transferring a file or whatever to it and that doesn't want to hold on because there's no expansion cards in it uh, that's pretty much it though for that um, right now it currently has I believe four gigabytes of RAM in it um, uh, it actually is ECC RAM, so um, that will help me with that error recovery in case anything bad seems to happen. Um, and since this is an Optiplex 745 board, it has two more um, SATA ports on it. And it does have the, um, uh, I believe that's the USB uh, header or whatever, so if I wanted to put a card reader, which the original uh, board did not have. Um, also, the expansion slots are moved around. I do have the option to put a PS2 card in here if I want to use PS2 mouse and keyboard. Um, all the caps are good on it. Uh, I reapplied the thermal plate paste on the north or south bridge. Um, I don't know exactly. The chipset, that's what I meant. Because um, it was uh, dried out more or less. Um, currently using Arctic Silver, I believe, on both the processor and that chipset. Um, doesn't have the chassis intrusion switch, so it yells at me every time I boot it up, but that's no big deal since the system's going to be running 24-7. Um, that's all I can think of. The only last thing I can think of, too, is the fact that this motherboard doesn't have IDE, so I can't hook up this optical drive. Um, not a big deal. I have an IDE, um, PCI, uh, RAID card, so I could put that in there if I really wanted to. Um... That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this kind of setup that I've got going here, uh, please let me know. I have uh, many more computers to do videos like this on. I kind of wish I did the XPS video like this, but that thing's a giant tank. So um, you probably wouldn't see me most of the time, which I know you all want to see me. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on the Dell Dimension 4600, which was a very weird system when I obtained it. Uh, so... Yeah, that will be the next video probably I will end up doing. Uh, if not, uh, any, I don't know what else, but um, I do like doing this type of setup. So make sure to do all that fun subscriber stuff. I don't like telling people to do all that, but do it because I'm going to make you do it. No, I'm not. Um, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.